uh, so uh, now we are looking uh, why we need a specification for example uh, you want a new query like uh, so from student where name is equal to something and from the address where city is something so this is kind of complex query so so it's like you need to for each and every scenario you need to write new method query or query directly so what happened it is not reusable and keeping track of each and uh, every uh, method query it is quite difficult and uh, yeah I means uh, you need to read each and every query what it is going to do and all so uh, so instead of that what we do we implement the specification why why why, why we need a specification because it is reusable once you implement uh, one specification uh, you can reuse it uh, everywhere wherever you want okay now let's go how to implement the specification for that you need uh, another J, uh, another repository like jpa uh, uh, jp specification executor so this is again the interface here we need to pass the class name which is nothing but the student okay so and this is the jp specification executor if you look at here you find like you you are able to pass any kind of specification so uh, let me open one official page okay so this is the specification it is nothing but a reusable uh, yeah the specifications are reusable and uh, for that we need to implement the predicates okay so let's uh, write one simple api okay uh, which uh, use a predicates or which use a specification for a uh, filtering purpose so i am using post mapping right now uh, why i am using post mapping i will tell you in future okay okay so it's it's nothing but a specification uh, so basically we are going to use post mapping because we are getting a lot of input from the front end and uh, to get this kind of input uh, uh, input right now uh, using gate api it's not possible that's why we are using the post mapping okay uh, but right now we are not using it uh, means uh, we are not getting all the kind of input uh, we are just executing a simple program okay so i am doing public uh, which is list of student okay get student get so again i am just hard coding it uh, so i am just implementing new specification specification here i need to pass the student okay once i pass the student i need to override implement okay so once i am implementing the two predicate method okay it will return me the specification simple specification okay so it's it's nothing but the specification okay now what i want I, I need to implement or implement or override this specification so here i am writing the actual query so uh, uh, the query should write uh, in this format uh, let me open the documentation once so here we have a cb cb means criteria builder dot equal where we need to get the root there we need to pass the first column name this is the nothing but the column name and today is nothing but the value okay so let's do this so i am using criteria builder cb criteria builder dot equal okay here first i need root dot get right root dot get here i need to pass the column name so i am using the column name but yeah this is just temporary i will i will change the column name later and this is nothing but the value why is belong to the value so uh, as per this api okay as per this api first uh, filter api we are passing pratik as a uh, inputs and the column name is what for pratik the column name is name right uh, no 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 uh, sorry my bad for the yeah i am correct actually the column name is name so i am passing name as the column here all right name as the column here and the value as a pratik okay so this will return over the specification now i'm just calling the find all method okay from the student repository uh, where we need to pass the specification as the input okay so it should be student repository dot find all find all 
okay here look at this we can pass the specification as the input now i am putting the specification okay and what it will return it will return the list of student okay and i am just returning the return retu return all <coughs> so let's run this project again and just test this api so till then i am opening the new tab okay uh, i'm copying the same but it should be the specification one right because this is the post api ah, okay uh, yeah i am passing the post and i need to do these changes inside the body i need to use uh, json okay so i'm passing the json and yeah for now i'm passing only this okay uh, so let's uh, clear the console first and let me hit we'll show you the query okay so internally it work like that what find by id okay so find by name only so the working of this query method find by name and working of this specification is same okay so this is how specification work again what you do uh, you can change the column name also here uh, so for example inside the student uh, we have this id we are not going to this address and subject right now because these belong to the join columns okay so um, join column means yeah we, uh, here we need to uh, put the jo uh, a join query okay so because of that i am not uh, yeah moving here right now okay so i'm just going with id for example uh okay so let's go to the uh, filter controller i'm just passing the column name as id right now and for example in database we have id as a uh, let's take the three okay so it it work like a find by id so it is reusable right now it is not reusable uh, after this lecture i am going to uh, make uh, this specification as a reusable okay uh, let me rerun it and test it one more time okay 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 so i am just uh, hitting that same api and result should be the rex okay okay so we are getting rex which who live in the france which having the three subjects okay so this is how specification work uh, so in next lecture we are going to make the generic specification which will use by all table which should be should uh, which should be used by student address or subject any kind of table okay